Hello and welcome to the 500 STEM program. I am Mrs. Cal and I teach 5th and 6th grade STEM. STEM is important for today's youth because it provides them 21st century skills for their future. In my STEM class, students focus on problem solving, collaboration, innovation, inquiry, along with logical reasoning, all while we incorporate multiple subject areas. STEM is very different than technology class. I can recall as the former technology teacher that my students worked independently coding on their computers. While these skills are very important for the 21st century, there's much more to it that students need to learn that they get in STEM class. Students work hands-on collaboratively on projects. They use the computers as a resource. They use them to do research and to spark their imaginations while they are planning and creating. In the moment of problem solving, students have to learn how to work through a very difficult situation and persevere in order to solve that problem together while communicating with one another. I start all of my STEM classes off the same way every year. They all have to start learning the problem solving process for STEM. The problem solving process that we use in STEM can be applied in everyday life. We start off by asking a question followed by imagine. How can we imagine to solve that problem? Next up is your planning, and then you plan out how you're going to solve it. Going to create, then improve. But there actually isn't any rhyme or reason to this order. You can go in any direction. A question may pop up in the middle of your creating and your planning that you have to resolve. So this is the beginning of our STEM classes. Fifth grade and sixth grade STEM, we start off with our first project that helps them initiate into the problem solving process is with the Kiva planks. The students are posed with the problem of how to get a marble to move from one end of the track to the other without any help. So they work together, they get 50 planks, and they have to work and communicate and figure out how to make a marble maze. They love this, they thrive on it. We've even gone into adding documentary process where they video themselves doing the entire process of it so that they can share and reflect back on what they've done. So then I start with fifth grade, where I want to complement their science program of life science, in which they are studying animals and their adaptations. We use the connects, and the students begin to create their fantasy animal in groups. And they have to think of the adaptations that make each animal different, and how that animal would survive in our world. Followed up while sixth grade, on the other hand, is using the connects, and we're using it with physical science and focusing on force and motion, which complements their amplified science program. The project, the Gravity Car, helps complement their amplified program on force and motion. The students work together to build a car that will travel the fastest and the furthest over the distance, and they have to learn how to measure it on the floor, which brings in our mathematics as well. From there, my fifth grades, after we're finished with the connects, we move on to learning how to code with Scratch, which will then be connected with Makey Makey. This allows them to develop a peripheral, which is basically like your keyboard or a mouse, that supplements the program and they can make things that move. They can build things like a dance mat, a piano, all sorts of things with their Makey Makey. Sixth grade, we go on a whole totally different direction with hands-on building and making a cardboard creation. We take the story, Not a Box, by Antoinette Portis, and the students are working to build their, what they imagine a box could become, with the hopes that we get all of our creations done and take it to do a story time with our younger students. I love teaching STEM. STEM is student-centered. It takes me from being in the front of the class, on the stage, to being down into it with the students. I help them build, I help them imagine, I bring out creativity in all of my students. What I really love is watching the students blossom. When I pose them with a problem that they just light up and can't wait to get at it and do it and solve it. And the other part that I really love is I will never pretend to be the expert of all and know all. I allow my students to become the teachers when they discover something that they can do especially when we're coding and things like that. There's no way anyone can know everything.